Texas Roadhouse was founded on February 17, 1993, at the Green Tree Mall in Clarksville, Indiana. Founder W. Kent Taylor lived in Colorado and worked at nightclubs and restaurants there, having aspirations to attend a culinary school. In 1990, Taylor returned to his hometown of Louisville. He began work as a Kentucky Fried Chicken manager, and had dreams to open a Colorado-themed restaurant. Former Kentucky Governor John E. Brown Jr. helped Taylor fulfill his dream by backing him with $80,000. In 1991, Taylor opened Buckhead Hickory Grill, the chain that would eventually become Buckhead Mountain Grill. Taylor was his own executive chef. Brown invested more money and wanted to open a second store in Clarksville, but complications in the partnership caused it to fall apart. Brown had elected to pursue another steak concept without Taylor, leaving Taylor with the decision to either stay committed to Buckhead, or attempt to start a new business. He decided to go with the latter, however, he had trouble finding investors to help him launch the new concept. Taylor met someone while he was managing at Buckhead through Scott Canfield who seemed interested in investing. Dr. John Rhodes became interested in Taylor's proposition of the new steak restaurant concept that Taylor showed to him through drawings on papers and cocktail napkins. Taylor was able to convince Dr. Rhodes and several of his colleagues to invest $100,000 each in 1992. A year later in 1993, the first Texas Roadhouse in Clarksville, Indiana opened its doors. In 1994, Taylor sold his shares in Buckhead Mountain Grill to focus solely on Texas Roadhouse. Taylor decided that better in-store training, building designs, and restaurant decor would help improve Roadhouse's growth. Taylor also hired a promising chef who worked in Louisville, Kentucky, named Jim Broyles. Broyles was hired as the director of food and beverages, and transformed the way Roadhouse prepared and served food. He helped bring the restaurant up to the legendary standards it holds itself to today. The chain expanded rapidly in the late 1990s, and by the end of 1999, 67 restaurants had been opened. In 2004, Roadhouse became a public company. In September 2011, Texas Roadhouse started their international expansion, with the first international location in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. In April 2020, CEO Kent Taylor announced he would give up his base salary and bonus for the remainder of the calendar year in order to pay frontline employees amid the coronavirus pandemic. The amount donated from Taylor will amount to just under $1 million. Struggling with health issues caused by long COVID, Taylor died by suicide on March 18, 2021, at the age of 65. Tinnitus is typically described as a ringing in the ear. Taylor's family said that Taylor recently committed to fund a clinical study to help members of the military who suffer with tinnitus.